Hello and welcome back, my name is Dave and today I thought I'd show you the hamper that I received by the company I worked for this year. It's, uh, last year I got a hamper and I did a video on that and uh, that's up if you want to go and watch it. Um, this year they gave us a new hamper and it looks quite spectacular, I really quite like the way it looks. And so I thought I'd show it off to you. So uh, yeah, here we go then. First up, I've got Lily O'Brien's uh, Sticky Toffee, uh, sort of a chocolate sort of idea. So, sweet smooth caramel smothered in a milk and dark chocolate. A Lily O'Brien's classic. I'm not sure how classic it is, but I, I know it's going to look, it taste pretty good actually. I like caramel and I like chocolate, you know, so, uh, yeah, eat, breathe, sleep chocolate. That's, that's something like me, in, I suppose. But yeah, the box looks quite there, uh, quite glitzy, quite glam sort of thing, quite posh, you know, sort of posh person's chocolate, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what it tastes like later on. Next up, Baked With Love by Bwit, Bwitman. Bwit, 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 I don't know what that word says. Uh, so I don't know, if, what's by having a company name we can't say it, you know? It's, it's strange. Uh, handmade by Family Bakery, Guada and Chili Cheese Biscuits. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of an interesting uh, selection of flavours there, Guada and Chili. Maybe not sort of the ones I might like, but I'll give them a good try and see what they come out like, you know? Oh, we must try them, ain't you? Uh, since 1958, the family has been baking biscuits for you. Carefully selected high quality ingredients, and uh, you can clearly taste and smell authentic guada in our biscuits. Pleasure to give and to get it. Uh, the uh, products are traditionally baked in a traditional way according to family recipes with authentic cheeses. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll give it a go and see what it looks like, but the packaging looks quite nice. If the packaging looks nice, you'll definitely get a good treat, but we'll see. It looks very Christmassy at the same time. Very uh, glittery down the bottom there. That is not something I will be eating personally. I, or maybe I might have a go actually. We'll see. Uh, got Joe and Steph's Gourmet Popcorn Chef and Connoisseurs. Chili chocolate, caramel, gourmet popcorn. Smooth and rich with a spicy chili kick. I've got quite a lot of information on the front of this packet here. Handmade in Great Britain, I like that. Handmade in, handmade, handmade in Great Britain. That's not very often you see that. Air pop popcorn coated in our smooth caramel with belled chocolate and chili. Yeah, chili bit of a strange thing actually. The second product of chili in it. I don't know about chili popcorn. I've had some before and it wasn't too good, but you know, I, I will try it and see what it goes like. But I like the cardboard bit, but I don't like the packaging. The see-through packaging, the silver foil. It looks quite cheap and like something you get your pet food in. And we give it to your pets, your dogs, and your cat. You can push the crap out into a bowl, don't you? It looks like that. Um, looks like some kind of nuggets from an animal. Um, tear here and enjoy the aroma. A unique taste experience of air pop popcorn. So we need air pop. Don't know how it is. Is it in a machine or is it outside? That'd be interesting. Popcorn with caramel, chocolate, and red chili pepper. Red chili pepper, eh? Yeah. Well, it does say chili. It didn't say it's a spicy chili. There was like three different ways of saying it. So you got red chili pepper, chili kick, or spicy chili kick, and got chili. So what is it? Chili kick, spicy, or is it pepper? I don't know. But yeah, I'll uh, definitely have a go with these. Packaging, yeah. The cardboard looks quite nice. Looks a bit on the cheap side in some ways, but yeah. Okay, fair enough. Give it a go. So, Cartwright and Butler, uh, another English product, which is quite nice, from Yorkshire. Chocolate wafer crispies, a coconut cream wafer, light and crispy, delicious, covered in milk chocolate. Well, it goes by the picture that should be quite delicious, but as it says nut, I'm not, I'm not partial to nuts. I think I might have a, a, a not allergic reaction to it, but I might have a. Um, might be alerted, yeah, some kind of allergic to it. I don't, I'm not sure, but doctors won't test me for some strange reason because I don't show the symptoms as normal. People are allergic to it. It's a shame, really, because I'm not normal like everyone else. Yeah, so uh, chocolate wafer for crispers. So that's basically it, really. Um, definitely got some there. Oh, it does say peanut in there. So yeah, I don't think no, I cannot eat this. It's got peanuts in it, so it's not something I can touch, unfortunately. But uh, I know something does. But the box is really pretty, actually. I like this. Soft texture to it. It's almost yeah, that sort of vintage texture like the picture um, of the Garland bike here. It looks some. It feels like that sort of look to it. it feels really quite nice and it feels like a good weight actually. You might get quite a bit in there. So tempting for someone. 
Chloe's Continentals Christmas Reefs. Festive all butter biscuits with a milk chocolate base topped in milk cram fondant and frosted cranberries. There you go then. That sounds and looks very Christmassy. How about that, eh? They not big, but it looks like you got three deep and there's four four sides or four corners, so three, six, nine, it's twelve at least in there, I think. Now I'm not one for cranberries, for fruit mainly, but uh, I definitely go with the butter biscuits and the milk and chocolate and the cram uh, cram fondant. I definitely have that. That looks quite nice. Deck the halls with Christmas wreaths. Treat yourself to a sweet taste of continent festive this season. This festive season, a festive all butter biscuits have been dipped in milk chocolate for a chocolatey covered base and generously covered in a variety of uh, velvety cream fondant and topped with frosted cranberries for an extra indulgence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks pretty nifty actually. You got reindeer at the bottom and all that, so definitely looks like something I could try at least. But I know someone who will like these, um, so yeah, very nice, very nice. Cranbrook's Brilliantly Caramelized Sesame Peanuts. Roasted peanuts caramelized in a wonderfully fine glaze with sparkling on sesame seeds. A very little packet, actually, not, not particularly very big packet, but again, it's not something I can eat, unfortunately, because it's got peanuts in there. I got nothing against sesame seeds or caramel, so um, caramelized or whatever, but yeah, there's this very nifty little packet. Again, it feels a bit cheap, looks like something you can get your dog food in, but um, it's handmade in England, so that's something else is made in England, so that's really nice to know. But yeah, I know so again someone who have this, but thank you anyway, looks very nice. Arden uh, Amici Classic Mini Panatone from Italy. Now here's something. This is a fruit panatone. Uh, as I said before, I'm very fond of chocolate. So I'm more keen for the chocolate version of this. Uh, nothing bad, nothing, you know against the company for making these. I think it's very good that they do. But yeah, I personally like the chocolate one, but this looks quite nifty actually. Very very Christmassy or very festive, sort of with the lights, sort of blurred sort of thing. I like that very much. Bring Italy to your table. There are many things that spring to mind when you think of Italy. Tradition, love, family, and of course, passion for food. Yeah, I think Italy is a very compassionate place for food. My partner and her parents went to Italy a year or two ago, and uh, you know, it's time recording. And they absolutely loved it. They said the food was fantastic and a very, very nice place. Italian classic mini panettone, uh, made with butter, baked to a traditional recipe using mother dough that has been lovely nature for generations. Delic deliciously served with a glass of prosecco, nice for sharing, but even nicer to keep yourself. I don't know about keeping yourself, but I imagine this is a two-person panettone in here. You know, uh, if not, you can cut into four, get some small slices, share with your family or something. Very nice, very nice indeed. Yeah, interesting. Jacquois, France. Uh, traditional heart truffles. A classique, apparently. Uh, something from France here, the way it looks. And I have to admit, um, I have um, indulged slightly on these. They are very tasty. They're like, yeah, very like um, powdery, small truffles. And the box looks fantastic. And the bag looks amazing. And yeah, they're basically little heart truffles. Can get them. There we go. Very powdery, you can tell by my fingers already, but they're very delicious. Mmm. Yeah, when you eat them, very cocoa y. You can get a very powdery sort of effect. Maybe it's slightly difficult to eat. I mean, because the chocolate's quite a mass, well, quite a thick chocolate. But that's very delicious, though. Box is very fancy, isn't it? That is a very fancy box. I like the red ribbon, simple design, the gold that shines off. That is really nice. So yeah, the bag again, nice gold bag. It's very fancy, very fancy. Straight, I got, I'll give these a seven out of ten, I reckon. Seven out of ten for deliciousness. So the last edible item on the list here today, and my hamper, butterscotch toffee biscuits. Now this is a fantastic looking tin. I like this very much. Very Christmassy. Very useful. I suppose if you don't have, tea, if you have a lot of tea, I suppose, like drink tea or coffee, maybe you can put the granules in here and the bags in here. Or you can use it for your, your shed sort of thing or garage. Store some items in here. Now this is a quite a big, a quite a big tin. So judging by my hand, that's quite a wide tin, you say, okay? 
So how much do you think you got in here for size of item? Judging by the sound of the package in there, I, uh, it don't seem a lot and it's not. You basically get about half a tin size worth of biscuits in here. Which is quite, quite a shame really. But uh, they look quite tasty actually. They're, uh, what's it say on the box here, tin. Here we go. So, sweet biscuits with butterscotch pieces. Uh, made in England. Oh, another ha England product in here, okay. But yeah, basically it's a cookie, or biscuit, that's uh, shortbread, and it's got butterscotch pieces or something inside. That looks very delicious, and I'm definitely wanting to eat these later on, I assure you of that. They won't last very long in this household. Very popular. And biscuits in this household is very popular, so yeah, they definitely go down with a cup of tea and, and, you know, on a nice evening somewhere along the line. So. No more edibles, and now we're on to the. Don't get me wrong, okay, but this is on to the tickle now. This is what the company gave. It's an, a Fiavesco Prosecco. It says there Fia, Fiavesco Prosecco. Now that's a fancy looking uh, old bottle there. Got put down in the 70 centiliter. Let's get a zoom in on that sexiness. Yeah. That's that is quite something on the old Prosecco there. I definitely I'd like to say thank you for the uh, company for this, but Prosecco is not one that I personally drink. Um, but I don't mind trying. Um, so I might have a glass with someone, you know, enjoy the moment. Um, but very nice, certainly, certainly here. It's an extra dry. This Prosecco has been brightly straw yellow color, delicate bubbles, citrus fruit, and flowery aromas. The palette is fresh and delicate with hints of pears and lemons and a lovely creamy texture. Okay, yeah, they're definitely like, I would definitely try it, let's put it that way. So, uh, I'll definitely pop it open New Year's Day or some, or, you know, have a nice glass, I suppose. But yeah, thank you very much for that one, very nice. So, I'm going to slight vinegar um, into a huge bottle that apparently has been called red wine. So, um, I've got a mild back here of why not Argentina? Now, I like red wine. I'm a red wine person. But yes, I like vinegar, if you all like to say that. But it just kind of looks good. And it looks not cheap. It's not a Tesco or Sainsbury's branded sort of finest stuff. So it's actually a product from Argentina, which is quite nice. They've actually gone and got stuff from Tesco that sounds cheap, or Sainsbury's that sounds cheap. You know, just slap a label on there and call it themselves something else. But this one looks very good and very interesting to try. An unoaked medium body blend with a soft red fruits and smooth finish. The nose offers yummy cooked cherries aromas with vanilla hints. This gives way to a mellow round palate uh, with a lingering finish. Casa Solera uh, Malbec is a great on its own or with grilled meats, stews and hard cheeses. And it's also fair for life certificate as well for like fair trade I suppose, which is yeah fair enough. And I think I would definitely enjoy this one. But as I put these boxes here in front of you to tempt you into you like getting hungry or thirsty, I I'd, yeah I'd like to say thank you for the company who had me in their employment for the past nine maybe ten years or something. And I just like to say thank you for the hamper they gave you know gave out. It's, Really quite delicious looking and tasty and I'd definitely be up for trying quite a lot of this. If not, I know someone who will have it. And yeah, I'd just like to say thank you all for uh, sticking around to my channel and enjoying my videos and chatting to me and just being part of the strange adventure I'm doing on just reviewing films and talking about them and sharing them off to you and yeah, I was like yeah, thank you very much and I just wish you a happy, merry holiday, Christmas new year and yeah enjoy yourselves with family and friends that's what the time's about and yeah I think that's I think that's it really I'm just going to enjoy myself now with my family and friends and uh, yeah I'll see you sometime next year in January maybe February we'll see <laughs> depends on my job call how much food I got to wear off first so yeah thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next year for another one bye bye